Swarley's Club. Buick did not drink alcohol until he was in his twenties. A walking trip to Scotland was his first introduction. Having now been weaned from taking bread and milk, I had learnt by degrees to call for a pint of porter. Thomas Buick was convivial, and the company he found in Newcastle's radical debating clubs was essential to him throughout his life. The only pub used by Buick, which still stands in Newcastle, is the Blackie Boy in the Big Market. On October 17, 1778, Buick was elected to membership of Swarley's Club, named after the landlord, which met there regularly for conversation and four pence worth of beer. This was the most rational society or meeting I ever knew. The first rule was that every member should behave with decorum and like a gentleman. The illustration of Swarley's Club by Ronald Embleton shows from left to right George Grey seated, described by Buick as being a portrait fruit house and sign painter, accounted one of the best botanists and chemists in this country. Next to George Grey is Thomas Buick raising a toast, and next to Buick sitting smoking is the Reverend James Murray, and he preached fiery sermons on the equality of man in a loud manner with a Scottish accent. And next to him is Thomas Spence, acknowledging Buick's toasts. Spence is described by Buick as being one of the warmest philanthropists in the world. The happiness of mankind seemed with him. A school teacher who taught at Broadgarth, Quayside, a pamphleteer and poet, Spence was a pioneer of people's rights. Hardly five feet tall with a limp and a stutter, Spence claimed to have invented the phrase rights of man, which apparently he chalked into caves at Marsden Rocks. He was arrested in 1792 for selling Thomas Paine's Rights of Man and imprisoned in London for three years in 1801 for his restorer of society to its natural state. To his right and seated is William Charnley, a bookseller and publisher. And he ran a circulating library at the foot of Grote Market and had a shop on the Tyne Bridge. Talking to Charnley is Richard Swarley, landlord.